Hello you guys, it is Drew here and I am here with my July favorites today. I cannot believe July is over. I cannot believe I turned 21 in the month of July. I turned 21 on the 24th in case you guys did not know. Um, that was absolutely incredible. My birthday was amazing, amazing and thank you guys so much for all of your insane birthday wishes. I got so many on Instagram, YouTube. Everyone was commenting it everywhere so I just want to thank you guys so much for all the love. But this is just a compilation of my favorite items during the month of July. You guys all know how these videos work. A lot of it's really cool. Some of it's from my trip to Mexico I went on um, and just a lot of other random things so let's just get into it so my first favorite this month is a company called Scentbird and I absolutely love the concept of this and I think you guys will too if you love perfumes and clones like I do this is amazing so first of all look at this packaging it is so chic minimal and just like very classy looking it's a metal container and you twist it up like this and your perfume atomizer is here so you essentially spritz the top here twist it back down throw it in your bag you are on the go um, or you can just leave it on your cologne slash perfume tray on your dresser whatever you want to do so Semper is actually a company that has tons and tons like hundreds of different designer fragrances from like Tom Ford Gucci Versace tons and tons of those top shelf fragrances that cost so much for the full entire bottle so how Semper works is it's actually $14.95 a month and you get your first atomizer in a metal casing like this so this is how your first one's gonna come in the metal casing and then each month after that you pick a clone of your choice and they actually send you a refill that you just put in your metal casing and each one of these perfume atomizers actually has 120 sprays in it which is enough for four times a day for an entire month so you could spray it like morning and night or throughout the day four times or however much you want really but you get about 120 sprays in one of these and it's really nice because $15 for this compared to like a $200 bottle of Tom Ford cologne especially in my case I'm the type of person that likes to switch up my cologne a lot so only paying $15 a month for a designer fragrance where you're only gonna get as much as you really need you know I've never had a Tom Ford cologne because they're like $250 a bottle don't want to pay that so I got Tom Ford's gray vetiver and then I also got one from Bulgari Bulgari one's called aqua aqua I believe aqua it's a um AQVA. So make sure to check the description box below if you want to check out Scentbird. I'll link them below for you guys. You can hop on over to their site and browse through it. Okay, jumping into a few fashion bits here. I purchased a new designer bag. Kind of designer. I don't know, you guys. I got this new bag. It's actually a coach bag, which I am not. I have never been a coach fan. I always actually like kind of despised coach, but recently they have so been stepping it up. I don't know if you guys have seen Chloe Grace Moritz. I believe that's how you say her name. Her campaign with coach was incredible and I stopped at the store I saw this bag and it was just so unique to me I've never seen a bag like this it's actually called a university pack and it just has one strap on it but I loved the gunmetal hardware plus the quality was just amazing and the price was about 350 which is it's a bit expensive but it's not bad for you know a designer bag um, like Versace and Gucci bags are upwards of two to three thousand dollars so I thought 350 for a bag like this was pretty good um, and I love it it actually holds a lot I have a lot of stuff in here I've been carrying it around everywhere with me um, just like this I got it in the black leather color and it has a front pouch as well it says coach right here and it's just the perfect size and what drew me to it was the fact that it only had the one strap so you can literally throw it over your shoulder and you are out the door um, you guys might have seen this also in my July outfits video I just posted um, I wore this and styled it in one of my looks I got a new pair of sunglasses from a company called Sean's and this is what the case looks like and I firstly want to applaud Sean's on their case quality. This is the nicest sunglass case I've ever purchased. It is so thick and durable. Like I can probably throw this in on the ground and drive over it in my car and these glasses would be protected. Like this is so nice. Plus it's like a really nice navy leather and with the embossed on it, the inside's gold. I'm all about packaging. So this was just like really nice for me. And these are what the sunglasses look like. They look like this. I'll put the name of them on the screen in case there's like an exact name. I, I'm not 100% sure what the name is, but I just love the way they look. They're a little bit vintage and retro, but I feel like they go with a lot of my outfits. Um, and I like how they kind of sit lower on my face for some reason. So they show my eyebrows. A lot of sunglasses don't do that. They sort of cover them. So now that I turned 21, um, you never know if you're gonna have a hangover. So you might need these sunglasses. They're extremely black. So they'll block out all the light when you are have a headache the next day. I'm just kidding you guys, but that's just what came to mind because they're so dark and they cover your face. A shoe favorite that I've been wearing and rocking a lot on Instagram into my trip to Mexico are these sandals. Sadly, these exact ones are not available anymore, but I'll try to link an alternative below. These are from Zara and I got them at their semi-annual sale for only $29 and I just love the way that they look. A lot of my friends, when I showed them these at first, they didn't like them at all, but I bought them anyways and they actually like them now. I personally love them a lot. They look like this when you put them on your foot. It's like a very minimal design. I also like how it has this raffia on the bottom and then it has these 
probably faux pleather looking straps, but it's just super minimal and clean. And these taupey colors have been some of my favorites for the summer month. While in Mexico, I also picked up two little accessories and I knew when I was in Mexico this time, and I'm a lot more into fashion and quality um, that I would pick up some silver pieces. I've never really owned real silver, um, so I decided that in Mexico, that's the best place to really purchase silver. So I actually got two new rings, and I'll show these up close for you guys. But this first one looks like this, and I was actually able to bargain this down. It's pure silver. I bargained it down to $40, which is really great, I personally think, because it was at first like $128. Looks like this, but it's just like a flat top, and then it has the rounded area, but it's a good substantial amount of silver, I think. And they did the silver test and everything on both of these rings. This next one is a skull ring. This one's super cool. When I saw this, I knew I had to have it. It was a bit more, I think it was about $90, which is kind of a lot, but not for a solid silver ring that's in a shape and design like this. I love the way this looks. It's just extremely rocker and punk looking, but I like to style it in my own personal style. So a little bit quirky, a little edgy, all that sort of stuff. I think it goes with everything. And I just love the way it looks. It's very different for me. Um, and it actually fits on this thumb as well. So I can wear it like as a thumb ring if I want to. I swear all my fingers are different sizes because it won't fit on this thumb, won't fit on this thumb, but it will fit on this one. Um, and it will fit on this finger as well. So I've just been loving these two rings. My main fashion favorites this month was my new leather jacket. This is what it looks like here. I'm wearing it because I love it so much. It's from Oak, and if you don't know, Oak is like American Apparel streetwear brand. Um, it's amazing, I'll link their site below. But I actually got this at their warehouse sale store. They have a warehouse sale store in downtown LA. Uh, it's on like Broadway and 9th in case you are down here. It's right over there. But I got this for $150 retail about 600 so it's an amazing deal. I got it in an extra small and it's amazing. The leather is extremely nice. I think it's like a lambskin leather and it has motorcycle detailing on it. I just love the way it looks. I got it in an extra small so that it fit super tight because I have two other leather jackets that are a bit more baggier or like a nice fit, but I wanted a really tight one that gave off like Saint Laurent vibes. TV show favorite this month, I have been watching Degrassi on Netflix. If you guys have watched Degrassi in the past, you would know, like you, if you've watched Degrassi, you probably have loved it. So I personally love Degrassi. I watched all the way from like when Paige was in it, when, who else was in it? Paige and Marco and all of them, I don't even know, like the original Degrassi, I watched it from then, I watched The Boiling Point, I watched The New Year, I don't even know, I watched all the Degrassis, but they have a new season on Netflix, and I've been watching it. And if you haven't watched Degrassi before, you don't need to watch the prior ones to like watch start the new Netflix version. The Netflix one's really nice because it's actually a very quick watch. They only have like 10 episodes per season. The episodes are only about 30 minutes each, and there's two seasons, so you can get through it pretty quickly. I loved it, I watched it this month, so watch that if you are bored. And of course, like every month, I'll have my music playlist in the description box below. It is a Spotify playlist. I always add my new songs on the playlist for the month, so you can check that out. I have so many new favorites this month. Uh, off the top of my head, I found this new artist called Ho Hawks, I believe. I don't even know. I called him Ho at first. Ho, uh, it's H-A-U-X. He has five songs. They're freaking insane. Listen to them, please, you guys. Chainsmokers came out with the new song Closer. Kehlani is crazy. I have a lot of really nice songs on there, so give it a listen. But those are all my favorites for the month, you guys. I hope you did enjoy. Give this video a thumbs up if you did, and you could subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I post multiple times a week. And don't forget to follow me on all my social medias. It's I'm Drew Scott, in case you want a bit more of my content in your inboxes. I mean, I don't know why you would, but there, there it is. I'll catch you on my next one. Bye, guys. I wanna make it feel